On my way to Gory Tacos. I'm gonna have my first bite of the enchilada. This is my friend Anne. I just met her in the restaurant, Gory Tacos. We're walking around. Socalo. And we're gonna get a dessert now. Yeah. Mm, wow. These are flavors I've never tried before. <laughs> For 40 pesos, I get three flavors. 40 pesos, yes. It's really cheap. Oh my god, you guys, I just tried mango aguas frescas for the first time. I think this is my new favorite flavor of aguas frescas. Today we are at La Organica in Cancun. Viva la Mexico! It's one of the top rated healthy and organic, natural, vegan, vegetarian, whatever you want to call it, restaurant. Mucho! This is obviously a place where only locals eat. I haven't seen one tourist here the whole time. It looks very upscale. There's a valet outside parking everybody's cars. Uh, no free parking, I think. The menu is full of all the healthy food, high quality stuff, as you would imagine at La Organica. They have a huge juice menu for fresh juice. I ordered a pineapple strawberry juice, freshly made in house. Mucho bueno. It's just like whenever I make it at home. I make fresh juice at home too. I'm really excited to try the food here because it looks really delicious and high quality and I only want to eat the best of the best when I'm in Mexico. This is the chicken enchiladas in a cream sauce. Looks amazing. I'm gonna take a bite right now. Mexico. This is really good. The uh, flavors are something I've never experienced before. This combination, it's very flavorful and it tastes very natural and organic and very healthy. Uh, this is probably the best enchiladas I've ever had. Seriously, they made it very healthy and high quality and that's what I like. Looks like I'm in for a big treat here. I don't know how I'm going to finish all this. It's a lot of waffles. I requested a glass of milk. I asked him if it's made in Mexico and he said yes. So I thought it'd be worth a try. Let's see how it compares to the US. I don't like it as much. It's actually a little bit sour. It tastes different. It's much more liquidy, it's thinner, not as creamy as the one in the US. It just tastes more kind of sour, not like it's going bad, but it's, it just has a hint of sour flavor. I don't usually drink milk, but I think the one in the US is better. This is a oh Aztec. Oh, it has a pyramid. Wow, so much art. It's all Aztec. So I'm at this gift shop on Playa Tortugal near the public beach, and I'm going to pay 200 pesos for this shirt, which I know is more than what I could pay, but I don't want to haggle them down too much. I feel like I just want to help these people out, so I'm paying the top dollar for these souvenirs. They're beautiful souvenirs. They're very artistic and beautiful. I will cherish these and they have many memories from my heritage, my cultural heritage. Here's my Aztec calendar t-shirt. It looks cool. It's got a lot of different things on it. Guanas, pyramids, it's got everything. Beautiful. This is the last Aztec warrior and I have a beautiful sculpture of him. I paid 600 pesos at Playa Tortugal. It even says Cancun on it.
can see here the restrooms are 10 pesos, but they look very clean. One time I was driving and I stopped at a gas station to pee very quickly and they told me it's 5 pesos. I paid to pee and I was like, you know what, next time I'm just gonna pee on the street.